I want to learn, I want to be pure, I want to be holy, I want to have money and then I'm going to give a lot of charity. Come on! Who are you lying to? You're lying to yourself. You just like to live in that fantasy. When I'm going to have money, I'm going to give charity. Let's see you give charity. Start with that. Don't start with being rich. Start with giving charity. Start with giving charity. No, when I'm going to be rich. You know how many people I heard that told me that? When I'm going to be rich? When? Whenever. One day. One day. I hope it won't be too late. Because one day you can wake up and you're in the world to come and then you need to explain why you haven't. Why you haven't gave your myself. Why you haven't gave your charity. Why you haven't spent time with your children. Why, Ribbono Shalom, you haven't spent time with your children? Why you were not talking? You wanted your children to go in the right path and you never sat with them and explained to them from the depths of your heart, from the deepest place of your awareness, of your consciousness, of, of who that you are. You never opened the cards in, in front of them. You never really told them. You want your wife to be your partner. You want your husband to be your best friend. And you yourself never opened yourself enough to share and to tell. No, she's not coming with me. No, she's not helping me. No, they're, they're not on this. You came, you put it on the table. We need to keep halakha from now. We need to keep Shabbos from now. We're eating only kosher from now. You are going with those thoughts for three years, for five years. You're developing, you're growing, you've been inspired. You heard so many lectures about it. And you're now coming with a list of new rules to the house. And from this day and on, Hi, what's going on? You're a secret agent of the secret police. What do you want from us? What are those new, new decrees? Why? Because it's the right way. Oh, nice. It was nicer for me to eat cheeseburgers in, uh, in McDonald's. It was very nice. What are you talking about? What? You, you don't explain. You don't open yourself. You're not explaining us why you want to stop eating meat and cheese. You're not explaining to us why it's so bad to eat pork. What's so bad about it? It's tasty. It's delicious. People even hallucinating, but they're claiming that it's healthy. You know, a lot of good things. Why not? It's a cute pink animal. If you will not going to explain all the way to all of the people exactly what you're going through, how do you want them to understand? How do you want your wife to understand? If you're going with that thought that you want to purify yourself, that you want to get holier, that you want to grow, that you want to succeed, and she's not a partner of all of those thoughts because you're not sharing, and she's just a partner to the conclusions. So from now on, we're going to keep Shabbos. From now on, you need to light the candles 40 minutes before of Shabbos. So from now on, you're going to cook the food one day earlier. What do you want? Why that she will be happy to serve you if you're not nice to her? And for sure she doesn't need to serve you. But even if you're running your life like that and she chose it also, now also as a slave you don't want her to be happy? Also, as a slave, you don't want her to be satisfied. So start beating her and that's it. And don't worry, she's going to run away one day. And then you will be free. Free falling. 